Hello there, and welcome to the AFL Armchair Advisors. Away, I am the Global Field Correspondent Desmond Van Busten, as you can see. We are in the beautiful Singapore, and I spent this week in Singapore. I've done many things, I've done many things, eaten many foods. Stingray, laksa, many poos, many, many poos, all green. Wow. I am here to give you a little preview of the round 13 AFL. It's 14. It's, four, it's 14, it's 14, it's 5, 10, 4, round 14, AFL Armchair Advisors on tour, the boys, the boys, yes, live in Singapore, getting it done, it's rich, of course, um, AFL Armchair Advisors, with the big fella, Desmond Van Bass, at long last, earning his, earning his money for a change, uh, we've left Dan at home, Dan is, uh, Dan's, Dan's getting things done on his end. He's a bit too sensible for the uh, the nocturnal activities that we've been having here. That is really loud. You sipping on that? Thank you very much. But uh, no, Dan's going to be doing proper bets and tips later on at some stage. So stay tuned for that. Like and subscribe. He's going to take care of you. We will be back in the studio as of next week. Don't worry about that one. But in the meantime, it's round fourteen. We have got round another... thirteen. I'm going to I'm going to punch you out. We've got another six games of by affected um, 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 clashes clashes left before we can get into uh, into the back end of the season. Des, six games. Let's we've not seen them. a lot of footy. We've not seen a lot of footy. Not but seen any footy. No, we're just going to do this on the fly because this is when we do our best work. Gotcha. gotcha. So, right, Thursday. Thursday night, June 16th, at the MCG sees the ninth-placed Richmond Tigers taking on the Carlton Blues. Desmond Van Bus. Now, we haven't seen the footy. Now, Richmond got up 77 to 65 over the power. Carlton did it easy over Essendon. Spoiled the 150th. Too damn bad. So both teams with a win on the uh, on the board coming into round 14. What's your, what's your vibe? What's your thoughts? We're in Singapore, hey? Big vibes, big rub, as you can see. Marina Bay Sands in the back. Our Science Museum. And it's time to unleash the Des Dog on Singapore. Already? So Des Dog of the Week straight away. I haven't even seen the odds. I'm assuming Richmond are the underdogs. Richmond are going to get up. It's a big game. Richmond are going to lift here, and I reckon uh, Carlton, Carlton have seen done poo poos in big games, and uh, well, and, and if, who knows about poo poos this week? Wow, well, that would that, that who would be you? Well, look, consider that. So, so I'm just having a look. We can't access sports bet or anything like that from it here let us. for obvious reasons. But um, I believe if Richmond Richmond will be the underdog, and uh, they're going to be the dead dog of the week. I think they're just going to lift. I think they're going to lift a bit. They're in a great vein of form, and they're only going to get better. Uh, look, it's 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 interesting. I don't think Essendon have shown enough so far to have been a genuine a genuine com competitive unit. So it was this not the greatest tune-up game for Carlton coming into this clash? Richmond did it tough against Port. I, look, odds-wise, Richmond might be the underdog, but I feel like their preparation's probably better coming into it. Plus, getting into that second half of the season, who knows better than Richmond when it comes to finishing finishing hard, going hard, going strong coming home with the Chockeys. So uh, it's in instinctively going to go Richmond. Good nice. win over Port. Double Des. They'll be up and about. Double yep. Des dog of the week. For sure. For sure. Can I get some odds? Richmond Tigers, Carlton Blues. Oh, $1.80. Richmond $1.80. Richmond $1.80. Carlton two oh five as it stands. So no, I'm jumping on jumping on the Tigers. Yeah. No, I'm on the uh, the Tigers one to 39. Khan Tiggies. All righty. Friday night. Friday night at Marvel Stadium sees the St Kilda Saints squaring off against the Essendon Bombers. Also, I do apologise. I can see how sweaty I am, and trust me, however bad it looks from your angle, it's worse. it is 4 billion percent worse. Like, my, his back is vile. My scrot, I don't even want to talk to you about it. It's like, it is like a, a tropical rainforest down there. Growth, bugs, just blah, awful. Anyways, Saints and Dons. Sh do wow. Surely Saints. Do you know, do you know, so, to put this in perspective, in a Singapore <laughs> perspective, alright, how did I go when I had curry last night. Oh. How did I go? Because the curry is St Kilda and I'm Essendon. I had a good time. Good couple of kicks. Kicks on the oval. How are we going? Yeah. And getting the curry comes straight through me. And that is what St Kilda are going to do. They're going to go straight through the bombers. But we don't, we don't need to touch them this long. Well, you say that. Do you reckon that they're... Um, do you reckon that they're... Their confidence will have taken a bit of a hit. They went up, played, uh, played Brisbane last round. 78 to 57. So, you know, a four-goal win. Uh, is this is this a, a back to basics? You know, let's just let's just get back in the winners column. Do you think this is going to be a challenge for them, or have the Dons just got nothing in the tank? Essendon's defence is just not good enough yeah. for St Kilda's attack. It's like, how are they going to stop 
all of St Kilda's forwards. They're just, you're just not going to. They're going to pound them. It's going to literally be like me and that curry. I'm te I promise you. <laughs> Take it to pound town. Well, look, it's yeah, it's it's hard to drum up any sort of uh, realistic enthusiasm for the Dons, but you know, so be it. So yeah, Saints. 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 Of course, <laughs> love that, love that. All right, Sorry. Saturday night. <laughs> Get it up. There you go. You're right now, are you? I'm back. This, this stingray's repeating on him, Curry. Saturday, Saturday afternoon, Adelaide Oval sees the Port Adelaide Power and the Sydney Swans. This should be an absolute cracker. I bet that genuinely could be. Just looking at the rest of the slate, this could almost be match of the round. Damn Port, right. Port v Port v Swans. That's very interesting. Port put it all out there. I did have a look at some replays. Uh, at their their um their recent match against the Tigers. Put it all out there. Uh, unfortunately, couldn't get it done. And as I've been saying for uh, for the last year, Port are just one to two blue chip midfielders away from genuinely, genuinely competing. That's that's my concern. Now, Swans, young mids, but they've got options. They've got options all the way through that middle. And if the Swans bring the heat that they've been bringing, who they play? I think they had the they had the buy, just come off the buy, and then they just got over the top of Melbourne. The week, the week beforehand. Before. So how's that for preparation? Do you know what I mean? This is Confidence a huge, sky high. Huge game for both teams. Really. No, it's massively, a crossroads yeah. for Port. Mm -hmm. If they can't beat Sydney at home, are they going to make the eight? Are they going to be good enough? Like it's great these question. wins were halfway through the season already. These wins are going to add up, and you want to be make, making sure you win these close ones. And I think they're going to do it. Who? Let's, let's just ask. Let's just ask the. Let's just ask the. Uh, I call it the knob. As you can see, move your head for a second. I'll go this way. I'll go this way. I'll go this way. Right, right here. Right here. Bang! That's the knob. And let me just talk to it. Yeah, they said Port are going to Port are going to get up. The Port, Port are getting up. The number of the Marina Bay Sands just called and said Port are going to get up here. You going Port? Big game for them, and they're going to stay in it. They're a much better team than people think they are, and I and I hate Port. Has I Port has Port beat Melbourne this year? No. Sydney have. have. Yeah, but so does that mean Collingwood's going to beat Port? Probably the right the way they're playing potentially. I don't know. I, I can't see the Swans not having enough weapons all around the, all around the ground to be able to get this done. I but he's going right. to be back. That's, gonna, so. that's, a, that's a tough matchup for. I, what, is Jonas even going to be playing? Jonas, that's true. Concussion, bit of a knock. Bit of a knock. Look, that's the one bit of footy that we saw all week. The one bit of footy we saw all week. That big knock far out, mm. and it was a massive knock. It was grim. It was grim. No, I'm, I'm going to Swans. Swans one to thirty nine for mine. Port for mine. Port for his. Uh, oh, uh, Optus Stadium, West Coast Eagles, Geelong Cats. Ready? Three, two, one. Round. Geelong. Forty plus. Fifty plus. Probably more. Probably more. They've been smart. What they they went down the they went down to uh, Tassie and they beat North Melbourne by like almost a hundred. So it'll probably be that. I would have thought easy as that. Yep. You guys, you guys know the drill. Come on, any any one versus Eagles, that's done. Thank you, Geelong. Move it on. It's fun. actually have a look at the markets because you can bet it's like five twenty five for Eagles not to win a game for the rest of the year. That's really not bad. Five twenty five. It's not. It's really not bad. That's I actually. I, I just don't see them. They're not. Yeah. Unless they play West. Uh, unless they play North Melbourne again, <laughs> maybe they'll win. I doubt it. They're, they're in a tough spot. Having said that, now this this again could be match, matching up as game of the round. I froth these two when they get together. We are looking at the last game on your Saturday night slate. It is the GWS Giants at uh, at Giants Stadium in Blacktown, versing off against the Western Bulldogs. Yeah, it's one of Giants' big rivals here. Mm -hmm. They've got, they got the doggies and they got the Sydney. A little bit of a 2016. How are you going? Spec about it. Yeah. Oh, hey. Yep. What do that. you think, Rich? Uh, um, well, Giants. They've now what? Uh, what? Two or three games under three games now under Mark McVeigh. And I like it. And another ripping win on the weekend. Granted, it was only against the Kangaroos, but you can only play. You can only play. You know who uh, who you've been scheduled to face off against. But it was a really good win. Canelio back through the middle, looking looking every bit the dangerous mid that we thought he would be. Thank God. Himmelberg. Thank God. Himmelberg from Himmelberg from full back with a goal and thirty seven touches. Oh my God. Who, if you told me that a month ago, that would just like I'd be like, what? Like what? But like, no, he didn't. Was he playing against those Come kickers? On. What was what, going what on? What happened? Like that, that's the curry. The <laughs> curry like I think I'm, I think the curry had affected me. <laughs> No, inc incredible game. I uh, whereas this could be interesting for the dogs. They've had a really rough week with the whole Bailey Smith, um, a b bag lenker discussion that's been going yep. on. Couldn't do it in Singapore. You get hung. Or you, you get you got a changi. You get the lash. You don't want that. So this is interesting. I don't, I don't know. Um, do, do the dogs unite and come together? Do you know what I mean? Or in, in the face of a really bad week? Or is this something that could potentially fracture them and they're going to play like past? I think they'll crumble, crumble under pressure. Giants going to get up one thirty nine. Gi Giants, Giants at home. They play well at home. Giants at home. They, they're going to struggle with this media attention because it's so negative. It is, and it's not going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, look, Giants one to thirty nine. Easy done. Easy done. Last game of the round sees the Gold Coast Suns and the Adelaide Crows going head to head at Metricon Stadium. Now. 
Surely, Suns. Surely, Suns. What have they won? Four of their last five? Suns for me. Suns for me. I, I, th I think Suns are a sneaky to make the eight. I don't think it's sneaky at all. I genuinely think that's a really good shout. But all of a sudden, that squeezes on. I don't know, man. It's like you've got the Suns, you've got uh, uh, Collingwood. Saints are around the mark as Saints well. Saints are around obviously. the mark. Obviously. Got, I'm Dogs. thinking Saints. Sydney. Sydney are seventh. Frio's obviously up there as well. They're going to make the eight. Lock them in. Who else around Port if they win? Uh, win on the weekend. You just don't know. It's wide open at the minute. And there's about oh, right. five teams that's going to be competing for two to three spots. But this is not answering the question. Have the Crows a chance up at Metricum? Nah, two, two words, four syllables. What do you think now? Mabby or Chol? Mabby or Chol. <laughs> Who is going to stop that man? No one from Adelaide is going to stop Mabby or Chol. Tell me I'm wrong. You're obsessed. Who's going to stop him? Who's going to stop Casbol? We just don't have the bigs to stop the. Well, stop this our bigs. A, then, a the Crows back line's not big, and B the Crows back line is not is not very experienced. I would have thought. You know, Casbol's not the world's best forward, but think about when a li like just a just athletic wise, mm. right? I think Chol is, is very similar to Alira Lee in the way that Alira Lee is obviously a defender. It's, mm. Chol is like a forward version of that. So athletic. So, such a spring in the step. Oh, it is amazing to watch. And who in Adelaide is going to stop that? And if you double, and if you, like, what do you call it? Two men on him. Put two oh. men on him. What yeah. happens? What happens? Casbolt's going to go run through. What about? Roses. You've yeah. got Roses, Thank which you. I love it. Joel oh, Jeffrey. That young Joel Jeffrey, mm -hmm. JJ. That young fella far out. They get, who's going to stop him? No one is going to stop them, there's, mate. Oh. There's some very nippy forwards and the Crows back line, I don't know. Unless you swing Lockie Murphy back there, but even he's not that fast. I don't know. Luke Brown's getting on in the tooth a bit. It's yeah. No not, one's going to stop. No one's going to stop the entire... You try and shut one big down mm. and it's just going to be bad. And oh. then, But you're going to have to try and shut the bigs down. The, we, we just don't have the answers. But I think I think Crows will be respectable. I think we'll... I think we'll grind. We've been grinding this year. Ah, uh, yeah, but it's not been pretty. Look, we'll slow I, down. I, we'll, yeah. this should be a run of the mill win. I would have thought we're tipping the uh, well, we're tipping the Suns certainly one to thirty nine. Uh, but you never know. Where there's life, there's hope, Des. Where there's life, there's hope. Yeah. The way I'll be, I'll be at the beach sipping cocktails. So again, yeah, that's alright, isn't it? Just have a look, guys. Just have a look. Just have a look. Just have a look. Look at that. Hard to be mad. Hard to be mad. Where are you going tonight, Des? What are you doing? Wherever the night takes me. <laughs> Wherever the night takes me. Oh, that is dangerous. That is dangerous. All right. Thank you very much, family. Stay tuned for Dan, who will be providing his tips and his uh, best bets of the round. That'll be coming in a different video, of course, because I can't pull him out of a backpack, small as he may be. But uh, thank you very much. Like and subscribe. Hit that like and subscribe button just down there. Beautiful. I'm going to let this man get back to work. LFG. Let's go.